All right, I thought we might have some fun here. I'm, uh, I just got a brand new motor in that I'm pretty excited about. It's a Cobra. I don't know if this thing's going to focus on it, but it is a Cobra uh, 2208 uh, 2000 kV. So this is basically going to be a great motor for stepping up mini quads. Got it on the thrust stand. My apologies for the appearance here, but it is a uh, a working place, so we get stuff done. And uh, this is the biggest prop that I think we'll be seeing on it. It's a six by uh, four five, and uh, it uh, it generates a fair bit of thrust. So I'm running on four S now, um, and uh, I thought it would just be interesting to let it run for a little bit and see what happens because I measured about twenty four amps on it, and I'm just running the uh, the Rotor Geek's uh, 12 amp ESCs. This thing just doesn't want to focus on anything. But uh, anyway, there's the 12 amp ESC that we're running. And uh, so let's just see what happens. The thrust is crazy. protection and we'll just bring it down so I don't know how long we went there but uh, that's the temperature protection kicking in on the ESC and when it cools down it will be back for now yeah that's pretty warm but I can actually keep my hand on it so I guess whatever setting the temperature protection is in it's below destruction let's see if it's back yet try that again and put the ESC in the airflow and see how much longer it'll live. Anyway, that's a good demo for now. Well, I guess there's no better time than the present to find out the answer to that last question. So the ESC is now mounted up there, which I think is uh, in the airflow nicely. And uh, we're just going to crank it up and let it go till it stops and see what happens. We'll also watch the uh, we'll watch the thrust and see. I got a good battery freshly charged. The last one was near the end, uh, so let's see how much uh, how long it can hang out above a kilogram. So there's our thrust down there, and I think we can run both of those. Okay, let's go. <laughs>
it seems that that was just going to go on as long as we wanted it to. That battery was... Well, that battery was working. Speed controller temperature. It's crazy. It's, uh... I guess you could call it warm, but there was so much airflow there that it didn't even get beyond warm. Motor temp, that's feeling pretty warm. Like I can, I can grab that thing, but uh, I would say that we've probably found close to the limit on the motor if the temperature is an indicator. Um, I don't think it has any issue running that 645 all that time. Um, but uh, I don't know if I would be heading for more prop on a sustained basis because I think we probably got close to the temperature that we'd want to get to. Now, no one's going to fly like that. And, uh, and I think, uh, you know, in an unloaded situation, it won't be quite as severe. But uh, anyway, that was a very, very interesting uh, result. It's kind of making me rethink whether or not there's any need to go to a higher ESC with this motor because... They're always going to be in the airflow. Hmm. Very interesting. Anyway, I hope you uh, I hope you enjoyed that answer to the follow up question. I knew it was one that I wanted to answer right away. So uh, there we go.